Hi guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Venezuelan true red tail boas, one of the smaller true red tail boas available in captivity, and tend to be very hard to find. But they're very beautiful animals and highly recommended if you're able to come across some. Today I want to show you a few animals that I got from my good buddy Mike Lucchese, who bred them back in 2017. This is the male Venezuelan true red tail boa. And one of the things that differentiates Venezuelan true red tails from other localities of true red tails is their smaller adult size. So these guys get to the range of typically of around four to six feet. So this guy is about three years old or three feet long. He's going on three years old. So he's probably not that far from being ready to breed. Um, I know that his father was only about three years old when he sired the litter. The mother was a little bit older, but I remember seeing that pair and the mother was probably around close to six feet. And actually the dad of that litter was about this size when he bred. So the males of course can give, can breed at a smaller size than females. So these are animals that are from the Gus Renfro Rio Bravo bloodline. And my friend Mike Lucchese got his breeding stock from Ron Greenberg in Northern California, who had bred them from animals obtained from Rio Bravo reptiles. And they're similar to a locality that I've seen pictures of that's known as the Apure or Apure locality from the state of Apure in uh, southwestern Venezuela. And I don't know for sure that these are from that origin. Um, but they are very similar in appearance, so it's possible they're from that particular part of Venezuela or somewhere nearby. And if you look at their physical description, they have this very yellowish brownish color. So almost like the yellows of the Peruvian boas, except a little bit darker. And then they have a very clean overall appearance, a very clean back and sides. You can see the saddles are very symmetrical in shape. They're not connected, they're floating saddles, and they have this bow tie-like shape. And then they have very little background marking, so very clean bow and overall appearance. Um, the back, the dorsal surface tends to be a little bit darker with this golden brown. And then they're a little bit lighter on the sides and they have a lot of you know pink and even some greenish overtones to their sides. I think this guy is going into shed, so he's a little duller. But right after he sheds, he has this beautiful uh, different colors on his sides. So they're a very striking looking boa overall. This is my 2017 female, one of my females from the same litter as the male that I just showed you. And overall, her appearance is pretty similar to the male. She tends to be a little bit lighter in color, but you can see she has this nice golden brown color and these symmetrical bowtie shape floating saddles. Her size is pretty similar to the male. She's about a little over three feet long and you know coming up on three years of age this summer. If you look at the tail, one thing about these guys is the tail isn't quite as bright red as some of the other true red tails like the Suriname and the Guiana true red tails. It's got a little bit more of a brick red color, not unlike some of the nicer Colombian boa imperators, but still overall a very beautiful animal. Um, you know, nice symmetry to the markings and nice contrast between the markings and the background color. Another nice thing about these Venezuelan true red tails is they tend to be a little bit calmer than most of the other red tails. You can take them out and they'll hold on, but they don't squeeze quite as hard as the Peruvian or the Suriname true red tails. Um, just a little bit more mellow. Uh, you know, I've often noticed some of my true red tail Suriname or Peruvian just really squeeze my hand to the point where it actually cuts off the circulation. So they can be kind of um, not as pleasurable to hold as boas that are a little more laid back like this uh, Venezuelan boa. Another thing that's interesting about these guys is although they are boa constrictor constrictor, they have a little bit of characteristics reminiscent of 
the Colombian Boa Imperator. For example, I already told you about the color of the tail is a little bit darker and more of a um, rusty reddish brown. Um, the shape of the head is a little bit less elongated than like the Peruvian true red tails. They're not quite as, as compressed as a Boa Imperator from Colombia, but kind of intermediate. Um, and then the size is also smaller than the true red tail. So it's interesting that these guys, if you look at a map of South America, their physical proximity is closer to the range of Boa Imperator in Colombia. Um, so while they are true BCC, they do have some characteristics reminiscent of the Boa Imperator. And it kind of underscores the fact that a lot of these classifications that we use are somewhat arbitrary and we assign boas into discrete groups. But in nature, there's this continuous amount of variation over the entire range of the boa. And sometimes those are kind of arbitrary buckets that we put them in as far as the classification. And of course, boa constrictors are constantly being reclassified. Uh, right now they are in two or even three different species, but whereas before these animals were just one species boa constrictor with you know, a number of different subspecies. And then my last uh, animal from this litter, this is another female from Michael Casey's 2017 litter. So there were five animals in that litter and I was really lucky to get these three animals to add to my collection. So this particular animal I saw right after she was born and I knew there was something special about her. She was just so clean and just so different looking. She almost reminded me of like a jungle morph just because her uh, back is so clean. There's like no marks at all. Um, and then the contrast between her saddles and the background color is so extreme. I've had pic taken pictures of this animal and she almost looks like she's made of plastic, like it's a toy snake, be just because she's um, so clean looking and you know the markings almost look a little bit unreal. But this particular animal, you know, is similar to the size of the other two. Um, she was actually a little bit smaller when she was born, but right now she has made up for that difference and she's at least as big as the other two. Uh, but just very clean looking animal. You can see the reddish brown tail color. The head shape is a little more stumpy than most true red tails. Just a little bit shorter of a snout. But just a really cool true red tail boa. So you may know I also have another locality of Venezuelan true red tail boas that are known as the Tamatama or Tamatama bloodline or red locality that is, was collected by and established by Terry Cullen. And actually I'm breeding those right now and I hope to have some babies from that particular locality later this year. Um, I'm not quite sure if that's technically a different type of bow than this. They look pretty similar overall, although the Tamata Mata um, are a little bit darker and the markings are not quite as clean as these animals. And as I mentioned before, these may be identical to the Apure locality boa that is that I've seen. Um, if not, it's likely that they're they originated from a similar part of Venezuela as the Apure locality. Um, but Venezuelan boas right now are quite rare in captivity, and they don't become available very often. But you know, I'm working with these guys, and I hope to provide availability of some babies in the near future because this is really a great locality of true red tail boa um, that you don't see or hear that much about because I think they're so rare but I think once the more available people will know how great these guys are and they'll want to add some to their collections. So that's my Venezuelan true red tail boas. I hope this was somewhat informative for you and um, kind of turned you on to a new locality of True Red Tail if you haven't seen these before. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me or you can also comment below. Thanks for your attention and enjoy your boas.